हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो आई एम आकांक्षा पांडे स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी टेक सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फोर्थ ईयर एट फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ सेमिनार ऑन द टॉपिक बायोमिमिक्री एप्लीकेशन इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट द प्रजेंटेशन सो वॉट आई हैव इंक्लूडेड इन दिस प्रजेंटेशन objective what do you understand by biomimicry some of the case studies then recent approaches in this field and lastly conclusion so moving on objective through a comparative literature review and an examination of existing biomimetic technologies this concept elaborates on distinct approaches to biomimetic design that have evolved this study projects that the biological influential design can be harnessed for establishing efficient and sustainable outcomes introduction what is the meaning of biomimicry the interdisciplinary field where technology science art design and architecture influences each other and uses biology for innovative sol uh, solutions and products and what do you understand by biomimetic products when the product is made with the help of biomimicry and can be in terms of form material constructions process or functions biomimicry an approach to sustainable development by evaluating nature's time tested patterns and strategies further resulting in new gateways of living now to understand more about biomimicry let's take some of the case studies so the aim of this review is to shed light on trends in the application of biomimetic to architectural and urban design in order to identify potential issues and success resulting from the implementation so the first case study is on passive cooling in buildings the east gate complex harare in zimbabwe is a commercial office and shopping complex of two nine story buildings it is modeled on the conception of termite mounds and actually how it works led by mike pierce an engineer from firm aero here specially designed hooded windows variable thickness walls and light colored paints are used to reduce heat absorption let's look at the picture to understand the working in more elaborative way the termites achieve the desired temperature by constantly opening and closing a series of heating and cooling vents throughout the mound over the course the ventilation system works as outside air that is drawn in and is either warmed or cooled by the building mass depending on which is hotter the building concrete or the air it is then vented into the building's floors and offices before exiting via chimneys at the top air is continuously drawn from the open space by fans on the first floor as you can see in the picture it is it is then pushed up by the vertical supply sections of ducts that are located in the central spine of each of the two buildings the result is that the fresh air replaces the stale air that rises and exits through exhaust ports in the ceilings of each floor then further through the chimneys the ultimate conclusion is 
it uses less than 10% of the energy of a conventional buildings of its size this savings also trickle down to the tenants whose rents are 20% lower than those of occupants in the surrounding buildings the second case study is on self cleansing paints by germany company stokeller lotus sun under the guidance of professor wilhelm barthlot from university of bonn germany they developed a biomimicry inspired exterior coating with a water repellent surface based on lotus leaf lotus leaf is a non wetting super water repellent or super hydrophobic surface for self cleansing the self cleansing property of lotus leaf is linked with its special nano structure you can see in the picture here uh with its special nano structure with randomly oriented cone like uh, protrusions as you can see here and now you can see the adjacent adjacent figure here uh, the surface is coated paint uh, surface uh, uh, of coated paint exhibit a contact angle greater than 150 degree and small sliding angle less than 2 degree the high surface tens uh, tension of water will assemble uh, the drop droplets to roll off the surface together with embedded dirt from the surface so the contact angle of what of water droplets with coated area will serve as a sharp knife which can scrape the contaminants of the surface separating the dirt that is established uh, by intermolecular forces this all results in lower maintenance cost and repainted less frequently the third case study is about recent approach in biomimicry product that is biomimic product in india uh, that is eco stp sewage treatment plants this has been led by bangalore based startup eco stp technologies Uh, Tharun Kumar, who had developed sewage treatment plants that takes inspiration from the digestive system of cow, as cow's stomach have four chambers and they digest using anaerobic bacteria. Here in the figure, you can see, ah, uh, the system uses microorganisms, plants, and gravel to treat wastewater. it is a four step process the stage 1 process is primary sedimentation chamber where uh, the waste are collected and solid matters like plastic and sanitary napkins settle at the bottom and scum floats on the top in stage 2 using gravitational force water travels to the second chamber through a series of baffle pipes the waste water is processed by anaerobic bacteria made from cow dung the bacteria feeds on all the contaminated materials and passes through slow sand filters in stage 3 the relatively the in stage 3 the relatively clean water then travels to the third chamber that is human digester where it passes through multiple filters masses like plant gravel filter and goes to the fourth chamber in the final stage the that is the final chamber is filled with horizontal wetland with no roots only gravel the vascular plants and algal colonies remove pathogens and nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus from the water the final result is clean non potable water which is uh, confirmed by karnataka pollution control board norms that can be used for toilet flushing car washing and gardening gardening after disinfections uh, you, using after disinfectants it uh, now uh, moving on to next slide 
how it is better than other conventional sewage treatment plants uh, it runs on zero power requires very low maintenance and secondly most importantly its running cost is 85% cheaper than the conventional stps unlike a conventional stp it does not need a motor exhaust fans pumps and labor it is also entirely safe for use requires no operators and does not leave any uh, order behind since inception they have saved 280 million liter of water and uh, uh, have saved 315 megawatt of power which is equivalent to powering 35 villages for a year currently installed across 15 states in india and are planning to go global where power is a issue the clients include tata steel bhel maruti brigade etc in this slide we will talk about the approaches in the field of biomimicry in india iit madras offers a full semester elective course on biomimicry which is india's first institution to do that they uh, they mainly focus on how to instigate the ideas of sustainability and design the solutions using the biomimicry conclusion although although nature is mimicked it is not reproduction but requires further abstractions that solutions will derive from these models in nature and can learn a lot from it by potentially decreasing the burden on the environment and focusing more on self organizing and multifunctional in this slide uh, there are, in this slide uh, there are some references which have been used in the uh, preparation of the presentation thank you